calibrate very useful um, button this if we go ahead and, and, and select calibrate an important thing to notice or, or to know is that the GPS altitude is not the same as your MSL altitude GPS altitude is relative to a theoretical sphere that surrounds the earth so what you want to do is you might be flying at uh, 3500 feet your GPS is 3560 feet so what you can go ahead and just say okay I'm really flying at um, 3500 so you can go ahead and type in uh, 3500 and then um, say use indicated and then WingX will automatically use that as your um, as your altitude and so it you, you've essentially calibrated to to be uh, to be accurate um, search very very nice feature we have search now let's say we go ahead and type in uh, Manteca VOR so it shows the Manteca VOR very fast very simple and if we click on that um, WingX will automatically jump and, and to the Manteca VOR and, and show you the, the, the Manteca VOR down there but it's 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 a lot more powerful than that the search functionality you can search for nearby airports and this is from your current position you can also search for nearby VORs so we can search for nearby VORs tap on uh, Concord and, and, and there's Concord so very very useful now let me show you a really nice feature about our search when you're flying along your spelling's not that great my spelling's not that great normally and when I'm flying it's even worse so let's go ahead and and, and, and make typos and that way we can um, I'll, I'll show you how WingX even adapts to if you make type, uh, typos. So let's say we want to search for uh, Oakland. So we can go Oak, Oakland. Let's see if that works. Yep, there it goes. It actually found Oakland. Now you can say, well, gee, that's, that's pretty easy because it just changed a couple of letters. But okay, um, let's go ahead and try um, Oakland. So we added a K. We completely uh, messed up the word now. Yep, and there's Oakland. So you can actually make um, mistakes in, 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 in typing the words in, and it'll find it whether it's in the city or the, or the airport name. It's a very, very nice uh, functionality there, especially when you're flying along and ATC says, uh, you know, proceed to some VOR or some airport, and you're not exactly sure how to spell it or, or pronounce it. You can ask for the ID, but... Um, Again, when things get busy and if, 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 if you can make a typo and, and the moving map can find that point for you, all, all the better. It just gives you uh, more time to do things you want to do. So let's go ahead and set up the route. We've pretty much covered uh, all, all the buttons and, and what, what, those, what those do. So let's say we're flying along and uh, we want to go ahead and at this airport, we simply tap on the identifier. WingX asks you if you want to get weather information, AFD, approach charts, you want to add it to the route, show above. What show above does is it'll take that terrain information that I showed earlier and it will reposition that terrain so that it shows you what it'll look like when you're at pattern altitude. So for example, before you went flying, if you wanted to see what the terrain would look like if you're at pattern altitude, for example, in Lake Tahoe, simply tap on Lake Tahoe and say show above and it'll automatically color the terrain so that it looks like you're in uh, at pattern altitude in Lake Tahoe. Very nice for figuring out uh, a way to get out of the airport, your best climb uh, path, etc. So I strongly recommend you do that. Turn on terrain and then do show above. Nearby fuel will show nearby fuel information. It's currently 72 days old. I, I wanted to leave this up here to show you how WingX will actually warn you that the data is old. But normally, when you, just before you go flying, it's updated daily. So before you go flying, just update the latest data. And it, it'll just say current or zero days old or one day old, however old it is. You can also um, search for Jet A, 100 low lead, self full, 15 nautical miles, 100 nautical miles, 200 miles. However far out you want to, want to search, WingX will sort the prices in terms of best to worst and then in the name and then the longest uh, runway so for example if we're flying a jet looking for jet a for example um, this is good 6,000 feet we might not want to land at some of these like for example at Lodi or Marina uh, because of the runway length so so this really gives you a good heads up you want to make a stop you don't care exactly where you land you just want to get the cheapest fuel tap on the ID and you can tap on an ID of an airport or VOR or, or pretty much anything and just say uh, select nearby fuel. So let's go ahead and, and set up a route. 
Um, so by the way, it's a little bit jumpy because we're running this on the simulator, but uh, on the iPad it works great. So we can just go ahead and, and, and tap on uh, Rio Vista and say add to the root. Now what it's done is, let's go ahead and tap on the root. You'll notice that it's added Rio Vista to the root. We can then say, okay, let's tap on uh, the Sacramento VOR, add that to the root. You'll notice it's drawn the magenta line. And then we can, let's just, uh, well, let's let's say we want to search for Reading. Okay, we go ahead and search for Reading. It'll take us to Reading. We can tap on Reading. Now, when we tap on Reading, there's a VOR and an airport on, on the same place. So it says, well, which one do you, are you talking about, the VOR or, or the airport? So we want to go to the airport because that's where we're going. And we say add to the route. So now we have the route in there. Now, what I did was I entered the route um, in terms of the the points that we would get to next. So I, I went Rio Vista, then Sacramento, then Reading, and so on. So now that is not why WingX added them in that, in, in, in that order. It added them in that order because that makes sense. For example, let's say we wanted to go to, uh, we were flying um, on this leg, and we wanted to go to the Hague Airport. We can simply tap on Hague and say add to the route. Now notice how WingX has automatically put Hague in the correct place. So anytime you add a point or remove a point, WingX will automatically put that point in the right place. So now we have, uh, we've, we're flying along this route and um, we originally took off from, uh, from Reed Hillview. Let's just say we took off from Byron. So if we add Byron to the route, notice how it puts it in the front. So it knows exactly where to put it. And uh, this is the route, and that's the CDI. It's telling us we're two miles, go left. If you are less than one mile from the course, it will show one arrow. If you're less than two miles, it'll show two arrows. If you're less than three miles, it'll show three arrows, etc. So that's why 2.2 miles, we were off to the right, go left. It's showing us uh, three arrows. Um, your next waypoint is uh, Rio Vista Airport, which is shown up in the top. 088 I'm sorry that's actually Oscar 88 we 6.1 miles away our desired course is 311 degrees we're going to get that 1806 Zulu time and we got about uh, 2 minutes and 48 seconds to go let me just go ahead and get rid of this route and what's really nice about the way WingX lays out the moving map is notice how your current ground track and your desired ground track are directly below one another. So if we wanted to go direct to Rio Vista, all we'd need to do is turn so that that number match that number. And they're directly below. Very easy to see and just great usability. We have a lot of these little usability uh, kind of little nuggets in, 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 in the program, which just makes things a lot easier. And that's why a lot of folks will be using WingX, uh, you know, compare with other programs and they'll say, you know, just things are just easier and work better and faster and and so on with wing X, and that's why. Um, let's go ahead and, for example, let's say we wanted to remove Rio Vista. We decided we didn't want to go there. We just wanted to go directly up to the Sacramento VOR. We just go ahead and tap on uh, Oscar 88. It knows it's already in the route. So instead of giving us the option to add the route or add to the route, it says remove from the route. So we'll just go ahead and tap on remove from route. It automatically removes it. And now wing X is telling us we've got to go to the right a little because it, it obviously changed um, the, the, the route for us. So that's, uh, in an, in a nutshell, that's, uh, the moving map in, in WingX. So again, uh, just, just briefly, you know, the lock, I recommend using that brightness, use that at night route simply shows and hides, uh, the route view one changes view ones, uh, essentially the background, whether you want a sectional or high or low IFR chart options, essentially overlays such as terrain, um, runways, uh, extensions, airways, etc. Et if you have an ADS-B receiver, you'd turn it on. And by the way, let me, actually, let me show you one more thing. Let's say we turned on ADS-B radar and we didn't have um, ADS-B radar enabled. Notice how WingX fades the sectional. So if you get to a sectional or an IFR en route that's really faded and you're not sure why, it's because you have this ADS-B radar option on. So just go ahead and turn it off and uh, you'll, you'll be back to normal. Um, yeah, if you want to take a look at more uh, AFD information, you can, you can uh, look at all the FBOs, 
uh, we integrate with uh, AOPA directory. Uh, we have pretty comprehensive uh, runway information, facilities, location, and you just simply scroll at at the bottom. You can just uh, scroll around and, and get maps and, and, and everything else. Um, actually, before I go, I do want to uh, show one other thing. Um, anytime you have a list in, in WingX, all you need to do, if you want to delete a point, so let's say we wanted to to delete hey you take your finger and swipe it from left to right a delete button appears click on the delete button it's gone so that's how you delete whether it's favorites or um, a point in a route you can simply go ahead and just swipe your finger from left to right and then tap on delete and it's and it's gone um, let's say uh, let's let's just go ahead and add uh, foxtrot 72 i just want to uh, show you something quickly let's say we wanted to swap these two points so for example let's say we really wanted to go to sacramento first and then back to foxtrot 72 you can tap on edit take sacramento and just drag it to where you want it and then let go notice how wingx automatically just reroutes uh, redraws the the magenta line and it'll it'll route you there um, you want to go, you went, oops, that's a mistake. Let's go fix it up. There we go. And then to get out of edit mode, just simply tap on edit again. The clear button will say, oh, do you want to clear the route? So it's an old route. You flew yesterday. You want to clear it and start again. You just say yes. Um, options, uh, you can reverse the route. So now we'll be flying Sacramento to, uh, to Byron. So we're basically going backwards. Uh, total distance is shown at the bottom and it's five miles longer than it would have been if you just went direct let's go ahead and reverse that again to get set up to uh byron to reading which is our original route and now what we can do is we can go ahead and save that route so if we tap on save uh wing x will put the route in at the bottom it'll also put in uh it, it'll, it'll come up with a name that kind of makes sense so from byron to reading and if you go ahead and save that now it's saved so if you come back and you want to recall your routes at a later date, you simply tap on recall and you'll notice that I have two in there. I have Sacramento to uh, Seattle and I have Byron to Reading. So if you just tap on um, Sacramento to Seattle, it'll automatically just go ahead and, 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 and change your route to show you that. So very, very powerful. You can, you can uh, manipulate the route very simply by tapping on the moving map or by uh, working with the route directly in there and you move things around and, and delete things and recall uh, routes and very, very powerful in, in what it can do. And then you want to hide it, you just simply tap on the route button. Hopefully this gives you a, a good uh, kind of quick and dirty up and running. Here's uh, exactly how to use the moving map. And as the more you use it, you'll, you, you will come up with your own um, ways of, of, of setting things up that make sense to you. Um, and um, yeah, hope you like it. We've put a lot of thought and effort and, and, and work into this. We also take a lot of feedback and we integrate the feedback into the moving map um, as well as other sections of WingX Pro 7. So thank you very much for, for watching this and uh, please send feedback to support at hiltonsoftware.com. We really do like getting feedback and a lot of these features that I showed you today were as a direct result of, of pilot feedback, such as the aircraft placement, such as the, the, the user waypoints, the split screen, swapping screens, definitely got a lot of folks wanting that. So uh, support at hiltonsoftware.com. And once again, I thank you very much for watching this and thank you for using WingX Pro 7.